Hey guys, so this is the last video on organic nomenclature, and it's on amides, which are a little bit trickier to name. Alright, so we have an amide. It looks kind of like the... Alright. So... This one here is pretty easy to name. All we do is look at how many carbons we have in our chain, which is one, two, three, four carbons. And we're, therefore, we're going to call this, let's say this were a just a carbon chain. It's going to be called a butane. But now we take away the E and we put butanamide. So this is going to be butanamide. Oh, I messed up. Right here. This is not NH3. Nitrogen always has three bonds. Definitely don't want it to have four bonds. So it's going to be NH2. Okay, so this is going to be butanamide. All right, so that's great. Let's, what happens if it looks... Oh, that's really ugly. Okay. Same structure, but now we have this coming off of it. And then we only have one hydrogen. All right. So now what we're going to do is name this as a substituent and whatever is attached to our carbonyl group as our main chain. So we have here a name our a substituent first, which you know is a N ethyl. And then we name our main chain, which is just butanamide. And you name it like this way, always name the carbonyl group. Not the largest group. It's always a group that comes off of the carbonyl that you name as your main chain. Okay, so you can do one last example like this. It's pretty it's not too bad at all. Okay. So we'll just to clarify that. We're going to have boom 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 boom. Okay, so how do we name this? First, identify your substituents. Remember, whatever comes off of the nitrogen is a substituent, so this is and this is you see they both have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four carbons, so this one here is a butyl, and this one here is a butyl. And what we have over here is two carbons. So that's going to be uh, an ethyl. And you're going to name that as your main chain, so it's going to be ethanamide. And you can, then you're going to go and name your two um, substituents, and you're going to name those N N dibutyl ethanamide. Simple as that, and that concludes amides as well as the entire organic nomenclature series. I guess good luck with naming.